Hi, Linda Kay here from lindakaystampandpage.blogspot.com with my May 10th, 2021 video to the collab I'm in titled 10 on the 10th. This collab is hosted by Kim, who is Metal Scrap and Chick here on YouTube. And the purpose of this collab is to help us get all of our Christmas cards done ahead of Christmas. That way we can enjoy the holiday season with our family and friends. And we do that by creating 10 more or less cards every month. And we share them with you here on YouTube on the 10th of every month. I'm going to show you the products that I used. And then I'll show you the cards that I created. Uh, out of my stash, I pulled this uh, die set by Anna Griffin. And it's the Christmas Sentiment die set. And here's a sample of the dies and they're quite large they're a little over four by four and I used the Merry Christmas die so I used those and in addition to that die set I did pull out all is bright retired DSP by Stampin Up and I also used gold foil um, by Stampin Up thick whisper white by Stampin Up and then I had in my stash ten well, they say they were cards, but they were just one sheet of um, this pearlized gold paper in 5 by 7 So I used that as one of the layers because, believe it or not, it matched these pearl um, balls in the greenery of this paper here. So they matched perfectly. So I finished one of these little packages of Recollections cards and envelopes so I can throw that away. I also pulled out this stamp set wrapped in Christmas and this is by Stampin' Up and I use this sentiment inside my cards let the joy of the season fill your heart and I stamped that using versifying. For embellishments I did use the basic rhinestones by Stampin' Up as well as this half inch cherry cobbler seam binding and this is retired but I have it so I use it and then I also use this uh, washi tape by Stampin' Up and I love this stuff it is it sticks nice it's thick and it adds just the right amount of glitter and sparkle to your projects I should have bought more of this stuff and then last but not least I use this silver um, rope I guess I don't know what they called this stuff but I it's retired and it's by Stampin' Up so I use that so I'm gonna move this stuff aside and I'll show you the cards that I've created okay the first card um, they're all pretty much alike except for this one when I was adding the embellishments I pulled out these little gold um, balls and you, you can't even see them they get kind of hidden or yeah they're just you can't see them on the gold. So then I switched to the basic rhinestones. But my objective when I made this card was I wanted it to look like an ornament in a tree. And I think I achieved that. I used the silver here to make it look like a little hanger and the bow and all the greenery. And here's that layer, that five by seven pearlized gold paper. And here's the inside. See how that washi just adds that little extra sparkle? I mean, the holidays, you can never have too much sparkle. So, that's my first card. And then I made four with this backing paper. And they're all the same. But here I used the uh, rhinestone to dot the eye of Christmas. And these cards came together real fast. And they were simple. Yet, I think they're extremely elegant. And I don't know about you, but I like elegant looking cards. I like cute cards too, but I have more use for elegant ones. And here's the last one. And again, that's how the inside looks. So, 
I hope you enjoyed this video and I encourage you to head on over to both Kim and all the other participants and I will leave links to their channels below and get some inspiration and create your Christmas cards now so that you have time to enjoy the holidays with your family and friends. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And you know what? If you hit that little notification button down there, you are assured of never missing another one of these marvelous videos. Well, I'll catch you next month. Bye!